Hey guys, my name is Marcus here with 3M Marketing Acquisitions and I'm at 1381 Lyle Avenue, a beautiful renovation here uh, done by Nicole Hunter uh, with United Real Estate Investment Group. She specializes in actually doing properties all over East Point. Um, she's known locally as the Queen of East Point, <laughs> um, who just loves the East Point area and um, all the different amenities, just as far as being close to the airport, downtown Atlanta, the Martin train station. So Nicole, tell us a little bit about um, this house and why you uh, chose this area in particular. Well, I am the Queen of East Point, of course, and the reason for that is this area has been one of the oldest areas that have not been renovated, and now, as you can see, if you look around the neighborhood, this area has transitioned, and we have gentrification happening at this point. I choose East Point because this is an area that's ideal for any person who wants to live within the city. Uh, and be so close to getting on the MARTA station or so close to taking an Uber and hopping to the airport within five to ten minutes. And also, we're so close to the common areas of downtown East Point where you can eat. This is the ideal location for work, play, and eat area. Work, play, and live area is what I really wanted to say. But that's the reason why I choose East Point and I'm going to stay in East Point um, and renovate one house at a time. So this house is actually a three bedroom, two bathroom, correct? That is correct. Um, so what are the other features you would say um, make this a little bit different as far as the maybe the size and features of the other bedrooms and bathrooms in the house? Well, both of the two bedrooms are the same exact size and you can still actually put up to a king size bed, probably either one of those bedrooms. The bathrooms is custom just as much as the master. It has all of the custom features as far as the granite, the cabinet, and the shower as well. So it is the ideal um, bathroom for the for a small family or big family. As you're walking through a renovated property, a lot of times certain features pop out to you. Um, and when I walk into this house, the main thing that popped out to me obviously was the gorgeous kitchen. So Nicole, what can you tell us uh, was your thought process behind design of this kitchen? Yeah, so when we first bought this property, this property was previously a duplex and in the mind that we had said we wanted to convert it into a single family, the idea was to have everything in the front of the house and all the bedroom spokes into the back of the house. So as you walk into the front door, you come into this gorgeous open style kitchen that has a lot of upgraded features, one being we have quartz of iron sets here with um, countertops with granite faux leather countertops in the kitchen. Also featured in this kitchen, the idea is I wanted to make sure that when you're in focusing on the um, island that you have everything in one working area. For example, you have your microwave here at the sink and then you have a stove over here. So if you have to take food off the stove, you want to put it in the microwave, it makes it much more easier. But the kitchen has a nice flow. It flows all the way around. There's plenty of space for a large size family. Would you it's say it's good for entertaining as well? Oh yeah, you can get 50 people in this area. <laughs> You have this gorgeous, full-size living room that can be anything your heart desires. You can have, you split in half, make half office, or you can just make it an entertainment dream. You can put a surround sound t t television set in here with a, a L-shaped couch in here. It's whatever your heart desires, but there's plenty of space for a large family. Definitely. Another major feature in any house is always going to be your master bedroom. That's always, I think, a focal point of any renovation that I do um, and any projects going forward, I always want to focus on that. Mm -hmm. So just taking a look around this master bedroom here, you not only have a large space uh, with a back entrance as well, um, but I see a gorgeous uh, renovated uh, master bathroom with a stand-up shower. And then you also have a walk-in closet with a bar door. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your idea behind that. Well, the master suite always needs to be just that, a suite. 
my day behind this master, I wanted to give it the, um, the, 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 what do you call it? The, uh, the granny also look, but on a lower budget. So I took this master bedroom and I incorporated some large items in here, like I did a faux wall, which is very important, very important feature of the house. So when you put your bed up against the wall, you necessarily don't need a um, back up base, but what do you call it, a backboard. Then you also have a walkout, so if you want to have your privacy away from everybody in the family, you can just walk out here and have your cup of coffee, including the master. The master closet is the ideal place for each person who has a lot of storage. The master closet also can be used as a sitting area. You can sit some chairs in there and relax on the table and relax it, or it can be just additional storage. My bathroom, now this is the most important piece of the master bedroom, it's totally upgradable, everything in here is upgraded, everything is top notch in here. Oh, I do. Have not. And then I have, and I decided to put a full shower glass in here with a rain shower, everybody loves a rain shower. Yes, definitely. And a seat, and also you got a seat where you can actually sit in the shower. Love that. Yeah, so that's an additional feature that I was able to add. Um, to this to give it that grandiose look that I discussed, you know, earlier regarding this master suite. Awesome.